Hello, welcome back to Bio3. We'll talk about the eukaryotic cell today. Uh, we'll focus on cell wall cytoplasm and a few of the organelles. Again, organelles, they're the tiny little organ for the cells. In this module, we'll focus on cell wall and cytoplasm, specifically their structure and function. And some, we'll give you some of the examples as well. So the function of the cell wall, it is for structural support. It gives the characteristic shape of a plant cell, the rectangular shape of the plant cell. And it is a protective layer, yes. It prevents the plant cell from bursting. Uh, um, when, we, when, when we water the plant, you know, osmosis, water goes into the plant cell, and cell wall is the one that restricts the, uh, the size of the plant cell to prevent it from bursting. Last but not least, in vascular plant, uh, cell wall use, we use cell wall to make something called a xylem. Oops. There's a one type of cell wall, we use it to make xylem. And xylem is uh, specifically for water transport. So we have uh, different types of cell walls. The first type is the most famous common one, the cellulose. Cellulose makes the cell wall for the plants and also from, uh, for protistar. There's uh, one form of protist we call algae. They use this cellulose to make the cell wall as well. And then lignin. Lignin is a secondary cell wall in vascular plant. We emphasize vascular because um, lignin is the one that makes up of xylem. Xylem is the one that we mentioned in the previous slide. And then um, we also we can also find lignin in the red algae as well. Last but not least, chitin. We talked about chitin before when we talk about um, carbohydrate. We can find chitin in fungi like mushroom. Of course, there are no cell wall. There are lots of uh, animals, they don't have cell wall. For example, animal like human being, we don't have cell wall. Or protozoar. Mm -hmm. So this is a slide from carbohydrate we saw previously. You can see the structure of uh, cellulose. They are basically a long chain of glucose and the oxygen that connect each other is basically have a constant uh, conformation as a structure that is up down up down so the alternation of up oxygen and down oxygen makes it uh, difficult for our body to recognize that's why our body cannot digest it And other than cellulose, we talk about um, chitin as well. Chitin, they are also, um, they are not glucose, they are, they are not long chain of glucose, they are glucosamine. That means a glucose with a amine group. So this is the N-acetyl group, N-acetyl group. So, the amine group here is here, the NH here. They have the NH group. It's basically a, 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 a keto group or acid, a keto group attached to a, an acetyl group. So you, it's like a, 
uh, it's very similar to protein in that you have this um, peptide bond here. You have the peptide bond also in here. That's how we call it glucosamine. It's a connection of glucosamine together. It's a long chain of glucosamine. Um, it forms the cell wall of fungi, of course, and also the arthropods exoskeleton. That's why a lot of bugs, when you crush the bugs, <laughs> well, if you, you kill a bug, so you crush it, or the cockroach, you will step on a cockroach. Uh, it feels crunchy because of the uh, exoskeleton chitin. And uh, last but not least, I want to repeat, okay, protosaur. Um, you may see that, okay, how come you said that pro protista has no cell wall, but here we said that protista, they have cell wall. Because protista, like al algae, they have cell wall. But protista, like protosaur, what are the protosaur? Like uh, amoeba. Amoeba or paramecium, these uh, protozoa, they do not have cell wall. Lignin, okay, from the Latin word lignum, it means wood. This is the second most abundant organic polymer on the earth. And um, 30% of the non-fossil uh, organic matter, one quarter to one third of the dry mass of a wood, yes, lignin, made up of most of the wood. It is heterogeneous. Um, it doesn't have a primary structure. Well, let's take a closer look at lignin. Okay, it said that no animal can digest lignin. Um, I'm not so sure about this statement. I'll say maybe, I'll say termite. You know that termite, they eat wood. Termite, they can digest lignin. And then uh, much fewer bacteria can digest lignin. Uh, maybe. I'm not so sure about that either. Lignin. I'll put a question mark. And then uh, lignin's uh, decomposition is very slow. Okay, that's true. Decomposition of lignin is slow. And then... Um, we have a hemicellular small branch polysaccharide made by of different monosaccharides. So you can see the differences between lignin, hemicellulose, and cellulose on this figure here. In order to tell you the structural the structural relationship when they form the plant cell wall. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, aka also known as cytosol, or you can call it intracellular fluid. Intracellular fluid. Okay, um, cytoplasm. It's a liquid 
colorless gel like substance found in cell most of them most of the uh, cytoplasm cell cytosol they are water it's water based and they also contain uh, cytoskeleton um, well cytoplasm well many mm, I don't know why they put cytoskeleton under the cytosol theoretically um, we should put cytoskeleton as under the um, cell organelles cytoskeleton is the one one of the many uh, organelles in the cell oh i see what it means they define the organelles as membrane bound membrane bound structures well cytoskeleton does not have membrane bound structure so they don't consider it as a organelles huh okay all right So let's talk about cytoskeleton. What's the function of cytoskeleton? They um, maintain or form the shape of the cell. They also um, they also move um, um, move uh, stuff or cargo or vesicles. They move vesicles inside the cells. Uh, they compare the or oh, it moves the vesicle or uh, inside the cell but some of the cell for example amoeba movement the movement of amoeba also requires cytoskeleton and then bones and muscle it compared to bones and muscle in 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 animals when cytoskeleton assemble they elongate they increase the length when cytoskeleton disassemble it shortens the uh, uh, cytoskeleton as you can see here we have three types of we have three types of um, cytoskeleton we will talk about all three um, in the next few slides so we have uh, actin filament we have intermediate filament and then we have microtubule so we'll talk about each three but as you can see the actin is the smallest the smallest diameter seven nanometer intermediate is like in between they have 10 nanometer and the microfilament has what 25 nanometer so microtubule is the largest one. Function, okay, maintain cell shape, just like our skeleton, and then um, help the movement of the cells and organelles. So if it is like the protist uh, amoeba or paramecium, the cytoskeleton help the cell moves and they also move the organelles um, and also vesicles inside the cell I already told you assemble and disassemble it's like elongate and shorten there are three types of uh, cytoskeleton actin, intermediate and microtubule we will first talk about actin, the smallest one first Actin has a different name called microfilament because it is the smallest, approximately 7 nanometer. Um, 374 amino acid long, 370. You don't need to memorize the 374. Well, for me, um, you don't need to memorize the diameter of each type of filament. Now, let me erase this. You don't need to memorize the diameter. You just need to know the relative size, okay? 
It is a G cost bio free. You don't need to memorize the number too much. Actin is the smallest one. Okay, this is something that you must memorize. Uh, micro tuber is the largest one. Intermediate filament is the median one. So that's all you need to memorize. You don't need to memorize the uh, like like seven nanometer. You don't need to memorize or oh, three hundred seventy four amino acid long. No. Well, you may you you are, you you need to remember. Okay, it has a two chain. Each filament, each filament contains two chains. Okay, twisted in a helical manner. Now the last point. Well, it is conservative. We all share very similar um, actin. Okay. So um, let's take a look. Uh, anchor plasma membrane. It attached to the plasma membrane. See pseudopods. Remember pseudopods um, allow amoeboid movement. Told you that amoeba use it to, for moving. Um, allow the intestinal microvilli to expand and contract. This is important um, because it. It has something something to do with our digestive system. Um, intracellular transport of organelles and vesicle. I told I told you before. Um, the inside the cell, the organelle and vesicle they can move, and they can move along this actin filament. And then uh, cell division. Okay, this is a very very important. This is very very important because uh, we will talk about cell division near the, uh, in the second half of the semester it pinched the animal cell to form cleavage furrow furrow so um, during telo phase of mitosis uh, when you start to form two cells we call cytokinesis then um, the one cell will start to uh, divide into two cells by pinching the cell wall. The pinching of the cell wall is by this assemble, this assemble of the actin filament, so that you will shorten the actin filament and then you pinch the cell wall together. And the pinching of the cell wall forms something called cleavage furrow. Uh, when we look at the cell, 